All right, thanks for watching. And today I want to evaluate an integral that seems impossible, but it's actually possible to evaluate. Namely, today we'll evaluate the integral of e of arc cosine of x. And by the way, I want to thank Nathan for suggesting me the solution because I was very skeptical. If I heard, when I heard about that integral, I was like, it's impossible. But let me show you how we roll. The solution is actually very similar to the Gaussian integral. So let i be the integral of e of arc cosine of x. Now, if you try u sub, it'll give you a big mess. So what do we do if we've thrown away all our darts? Well, we integrate by parts. So notice this thing is actually e of arc cosine of x times 1 dx. So let u be e of arc cosine of x and dv be well dx or just call it 1. Okay. Then we can calculate uh, the derivative du using the Chen Lu to get e of arc cosine of x times minus 1 over square root of 1 over minus x squared. And then if you anti-differentiate dv, you don't get dvd, you get v is x. Okay. And again, integration by parts, so zero. So what this becomes, it becomes i is x e to the arc cosine of x and then minus minus gives you plus so plus the integral of x times square root of 1 minus x squared and then e of arc cosine of x dx. Very good, I mean actually very bad, it looks like it became worse but the nice thing is, this we can actually easily anti-differentiate. So how about, again, you let u be e to the arc cosine of x. Okay. And let dv be x over square root of 1 minus x squared. Then again, Chen Lu this again, so du is e of arc cosine of x times again minus 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared. And then v, what this becomes, I believe minus square root of 1 minus x squared. Because if you Chen Lu that, then you get 1 over, so minus 1 over 2 square root of that and then times minus 2x, the 2s cancel out and the minuses cancel out. So again, theta como thoro, you just integrate by parts again. And what you get is i. Is still, this part, x e to the arc cosine of x. Okay. And then, so we have a minus, minus square root, of 1 minus x squared e of r cosine x and then again minus minus becomes so 3 minus 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 becomes minus integral of e of r cosine of x okay and then 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared times square root of 1 minus x squared dx. And you see there's this beautiful cancellation. And even better, what are we left with? e of r cosine of x, so the integral that we started with. So you're just left with whatever junk there is, minus i. So this just becomes minus i, so in the end, we get 2i is x e to the cos arc cosine of x. 
and then minus square root of let me just double check, yeah, 1 minus x squared e to the r cosine of x. And so in the end, you just need to divide by 2. And again, at the constant. So i, which again is e to the r cosine of x, the x, in the end becomes 1 half, so x over 2, e to the r cosine of x minus square root of 1 minus x squared over 2 e to the r cosine of x and then plus a constant. Now here's the thing, I do not believe in that result so let's just check it using differentiation. So what happens when you differentiate this? So prada lu, so 1 half e to the r cosine of x plus x over 2, again Chen Lu that, e to the r cosine of x, and then minus 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared. Okay. Now again, uh, Prada Lu, so you differentiate this, so we still have this 1 half from here, but then 1 over 2 square root of 1 minus x squared, but that cancels out with this minus x squared here, so um, times minus x, okay, and then e of r cosine of x, and then minus square root of 1 minus x squared over 2, again, e to the r cosine of x, but if you Chen Lu that, you get minus 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared. And then what are you left with? The following. Well, this cancels out. This becomes a plus, which is great because we have 1 half r cosine of e to the r cosine of x plus 1 half e to the r cosine of x. And let's see if this cancels out. So here we have a plus, so x over 2 times this gibberish, which cancels out with this minus. So indeed, weirdly speaking, um, this simplifies. <laughs> which is so interesting, because um, the, uh, the function r cosine is complicated. If you do e to that, it's even more complicated, but it works. Because math is cool like that. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.